up. I thought for a moment I wasn't going to be able to stream this because it wasn't capturing properly. <laughs> uh, I would have been very not happy if it wasn't going to capture properly. It's been a while since I last played this game. Alright, when we last left off, um... What was the last thing we did? Well, what was the last event? We were talking with Yuri, um... I think it, w it was after, um, last day Natsuki got really upset at us. Well, specifically at Yuri. But, hmm. Also give, um, some people, uh, like five minutes to get in here before I start playing. Oh, don't hit spacebar. <laughs> hmm? Just gotta, just gonna give people some time to get in here. Mm. And Richie is the first one today. <laughs> So how are you doing today, Richie? Because I've been promising to beat to finally finish this game, and it's about time. I get that you don't like it, but I want to finish this game. Right now we're just waiting for people to show up. Another minute or two until we start. Man, I need to trim down my hair in a few days. It's starting to get to the point where it's too long.
bit more. All right. Mm. Okay. Let us begin. So, yeah, when we last left off, um, yeah, okay. What the fuck is going on with Twitch? It's glitching out. What is with Twitch? What is with Doki Doki and not working right? <laughs> Everything seems to go wrong with this game. And I don't know how to feel about it. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk. And then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. Am I surprised? The way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Long legs, you say? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> oh my god, Twitch is still doing it. To describe what's going on with Twitch, in the top left corner of my stream manager, it keeps showing a flashing um bit of the menu like where the timeout the gear like a portion of the chat menu where it shows the mod logs the chat settings the chat button and all that but also the bit rate for some reason the bit rate measure and it just shows it in one specific spot in the corner and it's just flashing on and off <laughs> i'll try open closing and opening a new tab I doubt that'll fix it, but it's worth a shot. Alright. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk, walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah! Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry for misunderstanding. Hmm. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Uh-oh. Hey there, Almandin. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Hey, Pixel Master. I haven't beaten this game, so I don't want no spoilers. None at all. I want zero spoilers. This is, I'm going in, I've been going in completely blind, so. I'm doing quite alright. A bit tired today. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Hold up. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I said during one of the early streams of this that I I, I theorized that she did self harm. Oh no. So if Natsuki, no, not Natsuki. 
Sayori was depression. Yuri is self-harm. What would that make Natsuki then? I have a feeling they each symbolize something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the? I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. It's no Mexican. Do you like oolong tea? Oh no. <laughs> Yuri, no. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature to, on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time for the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. So... Hmm... If she does it in the school, how wouldn't she ruin her clothing? Since, you know, blood is a really <laughs> tough stain to get out of. <laughs> um, I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. I must say, what the fuck, though? <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the game literally looked like it rewinded. And then it just had Yuri come back in the classroom. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. What I was expecting was Yuri and Natsuki was getting into a spat out there. So, that caught me off guard. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. When you noticed, I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Snow Mexican. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour out a cup of tea for each of us. So, Maxin, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with, the, with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Why do I feel like there's some there's something a bit more than than just her back getting sore from bending over? Why do I feel like there's a bit more to that? Especially since we now know that she does self harm. Uh. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. I feel like there's something more to it. I feel like there's something more. I just have back pain Okay, um... Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Ah! My... my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes! I have terrible reading posture. <sighs> okay, yeah, there's definitely more to it. Yep, there's more to it. That's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a small, it's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since, I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit again. Against the wall, teacups at our side. <laughs> Yawning. Oh, ba 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 ba. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Mm. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. 
How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's reading, when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my right hand? That's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little, put the teacup between my legs, and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... that's okay, I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well... If I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't think- I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have to- So that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already focused on the reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri expression suddenly breaks. <laughs> did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Dude! No spoilers. Hey, get in the corner, get in the corner! <laughs> no spoilers at all. I don't want no spoilers. Even if you don't know for certain, just just keep it to yourself, please. This is my first time going through it, and I want it to be a complete surprise. Also, if you haven't played the game yet, you should probably play it on your own, because, like, this game is class. Like, if you don't know the story yet, I've been amazed by it, so. Uh, um, Snow Mexican. S sorry I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't. It's no Mexican. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. Uh-oh. My teacup gets knocked over. It's no Mexican. My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, it's no Mexican. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel this, Snow Mexican? So Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh my god, you're here. <laughs> um, well, this is a bit something. Also, I forgot to say, Nixie, thank you for the follow, and welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Um, I don't know, um, <laughs> is, is she a yandere? Is Yuri a yandere? I I thought you I thought she was a kudere. Um. <sighs> uh, um. It's time to share poems. Monica! 
Monica! <laughs> Monica might have just saved us there. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Let's start with Natsuki, then Monica, and leave Yuri for last. Because I'm still... Even despite what we just saw, I'm still in Yuri... Yuri... The Yuri camp. Like... <laughs> it just adds to her charm! <laughs> All jokes aside, seriously, self-harm is not good. Don't do it. Don't do it, folks. Um. Hmm. I liked your last one better. Eh? Really? Well, yeah. I can tell you were a little more daring with this one. But you're really not good enough for that yet. It fell flat. That may be true. But I just wanted to try something different. I'm still figuring this all out. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in this club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anyone. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. <laughs> Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Uh, Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Over time, I hurt my leg really badly. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Why do I feel like this is like a metaphor? And this is aiming towards Yuri. So it's something like this. So like, Yuri is like, Yuri tries to help Natsuki, but Natsuki doesn't like her because of X thing. Uh, and she just can't get over that specific thing, so. This is a bit of a crackpot theory, I know. <laughs> she likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friend starts to like spiders? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she hurt doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Ooh, pardon me. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. <clears throat> I hope you didn't think it, that was the best I could do. No. Of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like anyone would agree on that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> or hmm. I still feel like that that story is still important to like over the overarching themes to, to the characters. I feel like it is. Mmm. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes? As long as you're they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Such as two of the girls in this very club whom I 
respectfully won't name. Kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? What did I do? You, you two, you two sundere. <laughs> For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess, thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so whatever. We're not we're done sharing, so you can leave now. <laughs> um On to Monica. Snow Mexican, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's great it's getting kinda dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you, which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. Might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be for the best. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. <laughs> to put it lightly, I at least have, have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway. You want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Okay! Save me. The colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing. Expanding. I can't re- <laughs> Um, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise won't, st it won't stop. Violent grating. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Scree screeching, piercing, sign, coast, and tangent. Like pl playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a knife on a br breathing rib. <laughs> Endless, don't know, of meaningless. Delete. Nani. Um, sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. <gasps> My sister in fucking Christ. What the fuck? I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. So, by the deleter, is she referring to Sayori and what happened to her? Or is she referring to what's going on with Yuri? There's no point in explaining it. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can, tell me you can hear me. Anything. <laughs> um That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <gasps> she lo Oh my god. She loves to break the third wall. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you 
Like it? Snow Mexican. This one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Even her hands appear sweaty. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel I'm like I'm valued, Snow Mexican. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Ah, ha, ha, I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Snow Mexican? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed, but right now, I just want you to read my poem too, okay? This is a long one. Wheel. A rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding... What? Bolthead? Linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin hope tied to a th thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cog wheels. I feel like there's going to be a bit of a hidden message in this. Existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, prayer written in time, devoting, devouring snakes with human eyes, thread connecting all living human eyes, kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel n rotating in six dimensions, Faulty gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every n rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship. To another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time devouring prayer connecting a sky of faulty gears. And open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolt head. Breathing ship. Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. Breathing god. Breathing blood. We breathing holy stakes. Breathing human eyes. Breathing time. Breathing prayers. Breathing sky. Breathing wheel. Let me take a moment to think about this. Mm, Monica's design is pretty. Oh, mate. The character designs for, for all four, Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica, they're fantastic. Like, they're, they're fantastic. And, and I must say, the characters themselves, they're really fucking well written. One moment while I check this Discord ping. Um, like, hmm. <sighs> right now, I'm thinking it's obvious that so far that Monica breaks the third wall often. Wait, third wall, isn't it? Fourth wall, that's it. <laughs> Fourth wall. <laughs> Why did I keep saying third wall? Um. But man. Now, is there any deeper meaning in this? I'm, I can't. A lot of stuff about existence. God. Prayers. Blood. Vast ocean in every direction. Paradoxes. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it 
out on your pen. Ah, that is a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping. And I um. Oh yeah, she's definitely a yandere. Like she's starting to show yandere signs. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I am. Um, I. I. What the fuck? Hold up. There's a visual glitch in the YouTube replay, and I'm not sure if that was that was the game, or if that was just YouTube being bad. Um, Twitch chat, or well, anyone in chat, regardless if it's YouTube or Twitch. Um, have you seen any visual on? Did you see anything happen there visually? Like out of the ordinary? I only caught it with I only saw it in the my peripheral visions, but it looked like something was flashing there. Also, where's the audio? Where's the music? I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. Now you're touching it. Oh, there it happened again! It's with my face cam. Huh. Ha ha ha. What is with this? Okay, audio is still working. It's just a no audio section. Ha ha ha. I am okay. What did I do? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. You unlocked a special poem? N O T H N G I S R R E A L. Oh, please tell me that this continues to unlock more letters as we continue playing the game. Please tell me. Oh. Oh. Nani? Monica, wait, is this, wait, why did, I think, is this Sayori? No, it has the same color of hair as M Monica. Hey there, Scarlet. How are you doing today? Um, this should, you'd think this is Monica, but, blue eyes, hold up. Does Sayori has, have blue eyes? Sayori has a different, um... She had, oh, okay, I think it is Sayori. It's, she does have blue eyes, so. So, why is Sayori my cursor now? <laughs> okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we have... Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. Also, our cursor is back to normal. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Snowmaxon joined and we've started with some club activities, but this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still have only four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to, cons to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that you brought that brought you here in the first place. The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can can't do anywhere else. What a me. Ooh. It should be a place so intimate 
that you will you never want to leave. Okay, this is, if this was anyone else saying this, it would be fine. But the fact that it's Monica saying this, it creeps me out. I know how you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Snow Mexican? Ah. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Snow Mexican to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here join the club with each with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Snow Mexican joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. Well, Snow Mexican isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. Uh oh. Also, what she just said there, it's better than than at home. Hmm. Why do I feel like Maybe, like, she's facing abuse at home, maybe? Hmm. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki. Has two people inside? Do you mean like two personalities, Starlet? Like a split personality thing? Or like, do you mean that she's literally just two people? Um, that's actually an interesting thought. I don't think it's a split personality per se. But I. There's definitely a lot more to her than meets the eye with all her fourth wall breaks and some of the creepy behavior she's been doing. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Snow Mexican want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. So if it's up to me to rescue this situation, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Snow Mexican, why did you even enjoy this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? Oh, so that fucking- that just tooth start sticking out. Hmm. I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just- just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't, there aren't many other places like that for me. Now Monica wants to take it away from me. Oh uh, yeah, I feel like she faces neglect and abuse at home. I feel like her home isn't welcoming, so... Mm. She's not taking anything away. No, Snow Mexican. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I would have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. 
Natsuki starts packing up her things. Going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I... What the fuck? YouTube just glitched out again. I wish you guys could see this shit that I'm seeing. It it feels like it's actually like is Monica fucking with with this YouTube stream? <laughs> what what literally happened when Natsuki and Yuri were up on screen on different ends? They literally started switching positions again and again and again. Like over a dozen times in like Four seconds. And I have a Japanese flag on my left? Hmm. Hmm. I... I... I've... I smell SMH sussy. Hmm. Oh. Something's sussy. Hmm. Something's fucking going on with the YouTube stream. I don't know. It's not happening to Twitch. But it's all happening to the YouTube stream. I don't know. It's kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Wait, wait, wait. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Holy fuck. Um... I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Snowmexican? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. Besides giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. For the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many pe members, but rather the quality of each member. Eh, I mean, speaking of quality, we had, we had one girl off herself. One girl who does self-harm. The, uh, another girl who I theorize is facing abuse and neglect at home and another girl who is able to break the fourth wall and then we have the insert MC <laughs> quite a quality club what am I main monitor just turn off you guys could see it in my face cam there just the screen went dark my main monitor went off but my other two stayed on what the fuck what the fuck man I mean, you you can go straight ahead. I won't stop you, but like, I I don't know what I would do with that information. I don't think it's a, okay. Um, that's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Why do I feel like Natsuki's gonna do just something drastic? Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. 
and also a wonderful friend. M Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this club the best ever, okay? Me too. Yeah, let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay, I look forward to it. Shall we go, Snow Mexican? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with the Snow Mexican before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all. It's important to me as president. I mean... I mean, I don't... But it's gonna be flooded? What do you mean by that? I don't know what you mean by that. Did some, some subscribe on the YouTube? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? I can't show you guys this because the moment I t tab out of the game... Okay, I, I'm legit just gonna take a video on my phone to show you guys what the fuck is going on. This is the only way I can show you. Alright. No, fuck off with your extra modes. Alright. What the fuck is Monica doing with the thing? I hope this isn't too long for a vi uh, of a video. <laughs> I think it is. Oh, that's a... V okay. That's just a lot of what the... I don't even... What the fuck is that? No, don't allow... Ah. Ay ay ay, Discord, you're not sending me notifications. Don't be too large of a file. I mean, go ahead. I, I ain't stopping you. Alright, guys. The video is in, um, Discord. It's on the Discord server. It's in Pictures, Gifts, and Stuff channel. Holy sweet Jesus, that's a long name. Okay, I see what you were talking about. You'll see what's... If you look on the Discord, you'll see what's been going on on my left monitor this entire time. What the fuck has Monica been doing to my thing? Important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust her judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits his classroom. Phew! Things have been a bit hectic. Hmm? Haven't they? Snow Mexican, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. I really do care about you, you know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think she's the Andre. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. That's how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. Ha ha ha. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, I mean... 
I guess it's technically been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. Hold up, I'll help you. There we go, there's that quick. I don't know how to make Nightbot not flag Twitch quips. I don't even know if that's an option. It might be, but, like, I don't know how. Uh. There are some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No, stop it. Hold up. Hold up. I think you're on to something about a split personality. I think you're on to something. I feel like you're on to something. And that it's sort of like she has a personality of... Of all controlling. And the sort of like fourth wall breaks that we see. And then the other half that that we saw there, just right at the end, where she wanted to talk with us, but then potentially that other that other personality of her. Can I break fourth wall? Um, no spoilers. No spoilers is all I ask. All right, cage philosophy. Despise, misfortune, wrath, depression, starscape. All right, let's get a few for Natsuki. What was that little jump at? <gasps> Sayori. There was Sayori there. What? We saw Sayori! The little chibi Sayori. Oh. There it is! Wait, wait, no, that's not Sayori. That's, that's Monica. That one was Monica. Fourteen. <laughs> there it was again. I'm yeah, I'm fair I think that one's I think that one is Monica. Monica has a little headband, the white headband. Oh, I want to search up her image, but I'm very scared of doing it and Google just just showing search results and it just shows Monica and then some big story plot point. Because thankfully, I was already past the point. <laughs> I was already past the point, but when I looked up Sayori to check her eyes, I did get a plot point show up, which thankfully didn't spoil me since I was already past it. Alright, um... Pink? Hold up. Um. I'm pretty sure that little doodle that that went by there. I'm. Yeah, that that Sayori th that was there. That was a little doodle of Sayori. She had the little red 
red um bow tie on her head. <laughs> um, you know, one of the better things about streaming this game is that I can make sure to check things because I have I can look back on YouTube. Hi, Snow Mexican. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica. I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual. Natsuki. Excuse me? Um. Just search up an imi image of, of Monica. That's what I wanted to look, but I didn't want to... Oh. I didn't want to get any autofill in spoilers. Since that, that tends to be what happens when you search up a character. Oh, shit. Well, well, well. If it isn't mine straight, it has been some time. Welcome to the stream, mind. How have you been? And yes, we are indeed playing Doki Doki. This is my first first time playing through it. I know almost nothing about it. But I'm currently like... Um... I don't know how far into the story I am. It was a very good thing that I didn't. <laughs> Ah, eating ice cream. Nice. God, when was the last time you were here? Must have been quite some time ago. But it's good to see you again. It is very good to see you again. But yeah, like, to give you... Mind trade, do you know the story of this game? Like, I'm, I'm assuming you do, since you... Because of how, he, how you're saying that this is something you can't miss. Anyway, um, I'll wait for you to respond and while we're playing the game. Um, must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? Oh, you haven't? Oh. Hmm. Do you want me to get, get you caught up on the story, or... Or do you want to just go in as is? We do also have VODs in case you want to go back and watch the earlier parts of this. If you want to see my reactions to some of the major points. Like... We're not even, like, probably halfway through the game, apparently. I'm assuming. And we already have 12.5 hours in this. I'll figure it out. Alright. Alright. If you want, you can call my YouTube... <laughs> Enchanting table. <laughs> <laughs> Must you always in um what are you talking about? You say that I like that I like to do you say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gone into you lately? Me? Uh, n nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, a anyway, we we don't need to talk about it. <gasps> well, I just feel like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. <laughs> oh man, I'm the last one here again. <gasps> well, Snow Mexican just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ha ha ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. 
well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Motivates me to make hard, to work hard for the festival, and, um, right. I, I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki, we were all talking yesterday, and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. The brown hair? That's Monica. Even I knew, I knew about her before playing, playing this. Um, just like basically just a few memes and whatnot. Nothing much. I, I only knew that apparently she did, did fourth wall breaks. But beyond that, I knew nothing. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help out, us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. Is she like the yandere of this game? I honestly can't tell. She's giving me yandere vibes. She really is. With what we just had. I think it was before you tuned in. She said some stuff that was pretty yandere like. <clears throat> so, I feel like she's a yandere. But also, Yuri is also giving yandere vibes. Ayano yandere? Who is Ayano? I feel like I've heard that name before. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yandere. Was it from Yandere Simulator? That very old game that I remember. So that's where. Hmm. I remember. I think it was. I remember watching Markiplier play that game like over. Fuck. Eight years? Nearly a decade ago? Ha! Huh. Jesus Christ, that was a long, long time ago. Um, I can't even remember much from it, aside from that you could do some really fucked up things in it. Also, isn't that game kind of banned on Twitch? I distinctly remember that the game got banned or something. Yep, yep, it's banned on Twitch because of allegations that Yandere Simulator dev attempted to groom a 16-year-old girl, so. But man, um, if I had to peg anyone as a yandere, I think it's, I think it's Yuri. I think it's Yuri who's the yandere. And I feel like Nats, um, Natsuki is obviously the Tusandore. However, I thought at first that, that Yuri was a Kudore. I'm probably pronouncing these wrong. <laughs> Just as a heads up. But she's been way too active recently, which is giving me thoughts as to why. Okay, to explain. Basically, the dares, the dares, are basically a type of archetype. They're archetypes or tropes of characters. To Sandere's, are basically, um, the dare stands for, like, love, or so I think, something like that. And it mostly comes into forms like relationships, so, Yandere is one of the most common ones. Same with Tusundere's. Yandere is basically, like, 
it, it'll be easier if it's if I explain from Tassandre first. Uh, <laughs> Tassandre is basically like Yuri feels like the fun girl. Oh, you know about Yon Yandere? Um. Oh, do you not know about Kudare? Kudare. If you know about Yandere and Tusandere, it it's easy to explain what a Kudare is. Okay. Okay, I'll explain Tusandere first. Tusandere is basically like, um... Huh? It's hard... It's a bit hard to explain. Um... So... Mexican, you know what a fun girl is? No. Um, so, a girl, so, basically it's like when a girl can't really ex express her feelings, right? And so she, t she instead, like, takes it out on the other person, mostly verbally, so. It's hard to explain and get right. But it's a, it's a pretty common archetype so like Rin to Tosaka from from Fate is it one of the most famous examples of Tsusandere's but Kudere basically is like is a quiet girl who's often well not girl it doesn't have to be a girl per se but just a quiet person who doesn't tend to show emotions nor react much to things and then most times with these with kudores, they they are in their stories they often open up over time, which is why I tend to lean towards a lot, lean towards kudores a lot, when you, because I I kind of like that sort of thing where someone tries and change themselves over time. Also, I feel like I'm not going to search it up because I feel like I'm going to search up something. I feel like I'm going to search it up and it's going to give me something that I don't want to see. Alright. Man, I probably explained the two dares so piss poorly. It might honestly be easier if you just search it up, like... Like... Okay. Tusandre is basically a character with initially harsh personality who gradually reveals a warmer, friendlier side over time. Whereas Kudare Um Basically they're calm, emotionalist, and they're St and stoic but most times they start opening up over time what is sado dore oh oh i didn't know this was a thing oh i just got introduced to a new type of dore this what is a sado dore sado dore are characters who are obsessive cruel and manipulative however they enjoy her purposefully hurting, teasing, and playing with their lover's feelings, though they are not as extreme as Yandere's. Okay, huh. Just a character? Huh, if it's just a character from that... Hmm. Alright, let's get back to the game. I did some thinking about yesterday, and I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. Fun Girl is a Yandere simu simulator character? Okay. Alright, with that much knowledge... Oh. She... Oh, is she like a creepypasta sort of thing? Anyway, I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. 
but I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. I mean... I can't even stream it on Twitch, so like... <laughs> Maybe I'll go stream it on Kick. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if I ever want to touch that game. Because, like, I, I, if I can remember correctly, there was a lot of fucked up shit in that game. And you had to do a little, some fucked up shit as well. So, Yandere Simulator. Not to mention that the dev of it is a piece of shit. So, that automatically, basically, near, damn near makes me not want to touch it. But yeah, like, hmm. If I were to stream it though, like, how would I do it? Since Twitch, since Twitch wouldn't be allowed. I mean, Scarlet, it's all, it's all fine. YouTube chat has always been quiet. So. But, uh, he used the touch. Just fucking fucked off. <laughs> okay, I need to search up, just for reference, how much does one cost? I need to get an understanding of just how much of the donations went into it. Oh my god, they cost between 2,500 and 3,000. Jesus Christ. I thought it would be like 200, maybe 202, $500. Holy sweet Jesus. Okay. My god, those are expensive. Well, that's one way to know for sure, chat, that I will never be able to buy one, because why the fuck would I spend that much money on one? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you used money that was supposed to be used on the game. God damn. What the fuck? Yikes. That's just one big bad can of worms. That dev. I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know? So I'm gonna help too. And we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah! Yeah, that's wonderful. Wouldn't that... Wouldn't... It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Snow Mexican. That's why I blocked Dev on Twitter? Hmm. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah! Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Snow Mexican is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad that I've gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. What... What was that face she made? I just want to get a look at that face she made in that split second. Okay, huh. <laughs> Yuri is totally going to die. I don't know, I feel like... 
I feel like how the story is gonna go is it's gonna continue to kill off a character each cycle, and it's gonna repeat the cycles. And the next one, I feel like, is Natsuki. Although I feel like it, it might also be Yuri because we've been getting to know her a lot. Also, just as a reminder, if you do actually know the answers, don't say it. I don't want no spoilers whatsoever. You will, if you, if someone does intentionally spoil, you will be timed out for the entire stream. Intentionally spoils. So. If it's an unintentional, I'm, I will still be pretty upset. So, please be careful. I don't want no spoilers when it comes to this game. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I take s make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that you that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. Follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Uh oh. Okay, dude. Follow her. Don't let her go on her own. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. We're going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. Simply watch her movements. To my surprise, she moves. This is exactly the same as last time. The way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long, long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, may as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Go after her! No! You fool! Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting, so I decided to go look for her. Uh-oh. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri would be the nearest water fountain. Start heading down the hallway. Oh no. <sighs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> Sharp inhale. Like someone is sucking through the air, the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reached the corner corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. It's happening again! It's happening again! Okay, I, I'll give it. I'll give it to the dev of this. The devs. Psychological horror. Oh, and that's a ban hammer. Um, I'll give it to the devs. Hot damn. This is definitely psychological horror. Ooh boy. Um. Um. Wait. How did I? Sorry, I just had a... I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. Hope it hasn't been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending some time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. Yeah. Yeah, it's Rocky. He decided to come back with another alt account. I mean, hell. It's a waste of time for him. Rocky... Long story short, since Mindstray is also here, I might well explain it. Um, basically, he came into the stream first, started saying creepy comments to me. So I 
I gave him warnings. I timed him out. He kept doing it regardless. So I banned him. He came back with an alt account and did the same thing. So I banned that alt account. And then he came back with another alt account. This time impersonating me. Similar profile username and my own face as, as the profile picture. I don't sit well with that. So I ban him on the spot and I'm reporting his ass. I mean, it's a, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time for him. Because, like, the amount of time it would take to create an entirely new YouTube account. You would need an entirely new email. It's a big waste of time for him because I can ban him far faster than he can create a new account. So, like... It, like, there's so little effort involved. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyway, back to the game. But expressing those things as soon as... So soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least, that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. Made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something so I eventually stopped trying to talk to people nobody could ever talk to me talk like me for the th if nobody e could ever like me for the things that matter mo most to me then it's just easier if I close myself off but recently something's been wrong I don't know what it is but every time we come to the club my heart starts going crazy like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't help let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. It's no Mexican. Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. Then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Ah! Ah! Guys! Natsuki! You can see the fade down line of Natsuki! Not Natsuki, you, Monica! Um, ha 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 ha. That was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you'd never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all through from various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of. Use. It might very well be foreshadowing, mind. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club, Snow Mexican. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore, because we have each other every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Like fate that we should meet each other. And uh, now we can get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do that with? 
Maybe Snow X can. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my god! This time we're leaving Monica for last. This one's alright. Alright? Yeah, it's at least better than yesterday's. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck? Ah. Oh my god, though. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything. That doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. Just let me be, but just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. To so read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there has been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've been... You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet, polite, and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm really... I'm forcing myself to suck it up. Truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the one... You're the only person she, that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to talk to her tried to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist? I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I feel like I feel, just feel so helpless, so please, see if you can do any do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she d just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you This to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Monica's doing this, isn't she? This is all Monica, I think. Can you hear me, Snow Mexican? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I too Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Okay, Monica is 100% a yonder, right? She is 100% a yonder, right? Yep. Yep. I just... I just think that Yuri is really excitable. I don't think she's a yandere. I just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face, takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. So much sure. I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. No more Natsuki. Oh my god. Y Yuri's poem. Not Yuri's, um... 
Monica's poem from last day. It said, delete her at the very end. Was it talking about Natsuki instead of Yuri? Is Monica going to delete Natsuki? Jeez. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Snow Mexican. I've never let I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds the poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. Take good care of it. I know this is supposed to be serious and all. <laughs> I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. Mind you, I'm fairly confident whenever the text appears like this, this is Monica speaking. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick. I, I need a breather. Holy fuck. I need a breather, so I'll be back in a minute. And yes, I'm going to be leaving it on this. So that anyone who comes into the stream and doesn't know what the fuck is going on, you will just see this out of context. Also, hi. <laughs> oh fuck, why did I do that? That one to do on someone so <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Um alright, let's see. We we're just gonna be here looking at text, so uh Oh my god, face appeared. <laughs> Anyone got anything to say or talk about? Um, 
I was playing into the dead of my phone. So I kind of got myself killed. <laughs> um, good question. Oh my god. I'll give myself paper cuts. So your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Hold up, let me let, let me do that again. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstreams. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. <laughs> hey there, Shade. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Oh my god. God, Scarlet, that that YouTube name is just too much. Can you uh kiss Yuri? And take her out. Honestly, if it if this was any other game, like in a like a game that you got to choose which one you went after and dated, it would be 100% Yuri all the way. Like, 100% easily. But that's not how this game works. Because I think Monica is about to do something. <laughs> Monica might end my existence now. <laughs> uh, almost got myself killed again. <laughs> oh my. What if, guys? What if Monica actually does something, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> the urge for me to just fuck with you guys and just hit the power button with my foot after saying that is so great, but I don't want to fuck with the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Just make it actually seem like something happened. <laughs> I almost fucking did it just for the shits and giggles. <laughs> Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. I honestly would, but I really want to keep streaming today for a bit longer. I... I think... I don't think that's Natsuki's blood. I think this is Yuri's blood. Also, the surroundings is red. It has a red tint. I, I think so. I think it's Yuri's blood because this is Yuri's poem. And Yuri does self-harm. We know that already. I can't... I can't even make out these letters. It's... it's definitely English. I think. But I can't... Do you like it? I wrote it for you, in case you couldn't tell the poem is about. <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my... Scent. Almanden, you were right. Almanden. Oh, 
All right, dinner is ready. So I am going to go get eat dinner. I'm going to be like five, ten minutes. So, yeah. You guys can uh, have fun with this um, out of context.
Okay, I am back. So. Oh god, what has been going on in YouTube chat? YouTube chat like this. One moment. Oh. Oh, I forgot to unmute. Oh well. <clears throat> um. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I. I think I'm going to vomit. Who should I show? Like, why? Why is the MC just nonchalantly saying, thinking, "Oh, hey, who should I show my poem next to?" After literally seeing what the fuck that just what the fuck just happened don't say I didn't warn you snow Mexican okay chat do we hit yes or no everyone we're doing say your answer do we do yes or no We got one for no, one for yes. Say your thoughts. Make vote poll. All right. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, community, how do I do polls again? How do I actually set up a poll? Why can't I remember?
I can't remember how the fuck I set up a pole. Okay. You have one minute. For YouTube chat, you can just say your answers and I'll include you into the poll through that. We have two for yes, one for no. Also, for this stream, we're going to be going till 5.30, so another half hour. If you want your opinion heard, you better get your votes in. And it's over. We are doing yes. Bro, what the fuck? Sayori, <laughs> no! Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. One moment. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking. I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica. I'm not useless, you know? I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. I can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Snow Mexican? Snow Mexican is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like how it is? What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you wouldn't fucking know. All you care about is now is dragging Snow Mike soon around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey! I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Snow Mike soon decide who to help out instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Snow Mexican make the choice, okay? Okay, fine, fine, jeez. Snow Mexican, I know how you're, you are, how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just, Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ, this is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? I can't save. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna go with Yuri, I think. Because I feel like Monica might take her out next, so. 
I, I feel like Monica might delete her from existence. You see, folks. You see. Instead of having all these... Where the, the person must choose one option. You see, this is where having a harem comes in, <laughs> comes in handy. <laughs> Why choose one when you can choose all of them after all? <laughs> oh, fuck. Um... Shit, man. I... Hmm? Ah. Ah. Uh... That's not me, guys. <laughs> your ass this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking snow Mexican for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided for yourself. You've been a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling snow mix in away from every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. I... I'm not going to say that because I feel like I might actually get, get in trouble. Have you considered... Mm, it would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is spend a little time with him. That's so much to ask. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki out to the door. Hey, Snow Mexican, Yuri's really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Uh oh. Finally. Finally! This is really all I wanted. Snow Mexican. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my, my whole life. Just being here with you is far greater. It's a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm a addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? 
Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Snow Mexican. <laughs> I have to tell you. Um, she gives off a lot of those vibes that she's a yandere. <laughs> also, quiet one. Just a heads up, I'm saying this to everyone that comes into the stream. No spoilers. No spoilers at all, please. Thank you. But she does give off a lot of yandere vibes. I have to tell you, I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, no, Mexican. Just know th how much I love you. Love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you! Stole I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Snow Mexican. Tell me what. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh my god, this is playing out just like it did with Sayori, except different circumstances. Love confession, yes or no. And I feel like it doesn't matter regardless of my answer. It's like... Oh no. Oh no. Alright, guys. 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 I have one thing to say to you all. The craziness makes it hotter. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'm... I'm going to say yes, because... Mm. I'm honestly kind of curious how she'll react. Okay, I just need to check, just for reference. Oh. Huh. Huh. Um... Okay, that's what I was going to ask in a moment, quiet one. I want to... Pixel. Pixel Master. Please, don't call out someone like that. I don't know what the problem is with Perez, but I want this to end now. The next time, it's a timeout. For the entire stream. Holy fuck. That... I killed- I suggested her confession!
Um, she confessed to me. I said yes. You know what? I'll, I'll show you what happened. I will legitimately show you what happened. That would be easier. All right. Let's see. Okay. I'm honestly kind of curious how she'll react. That is, uh, what happened. <clears throat> How long does this go on for? Am I missing something? Um, I don't want a spoiler. Just tell me this. Confirm this or deny it. Do I have to cl keep clicking through this dialogue? Okay, I just have to keep clicking through. All right. Oh, my. Pixel Master, I'm asking you again. Please just leave it as is. Don't try and start the argument again. Just so you know, I played this game over a year ago. Hmm. Force quit? I should restart the game? Watch. Go to menu. Okay.
Gary, why'd you do this, man? Okay. Just sends me right. How, how do I progress? Oh my god, time is passing! Each time! Each time I do it, time is passing! Her eyes are getting more and more lifeless as we go. Just sends me right. Oh. Okay, I'll try. Is that what you were saying? Force quit? Task manager. So I need this to capture properly. I don't know if something's gonna happen. Or not. Come on. Okay, I, I might just use, um... Okay, let's use Steam as a background. Alright, let's do display capture. Why isn't it display... Okay. Alright, now... Okay. Force quit. Okay, something's different. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? Thought it was... Yeah. Uh, Suki runs away. Monica, I'm here. So Maxine, did something happen? Nah, Suki just ran past. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Snow Mexican? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. Super sorry. Must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a second. OS remove. Yuri dot character deleted successfully. Oh shit. Natsuki character. Okay, let's try and go back to game capture. Ah. Hey, uh, Vert. I'm almost done. Just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from... Dre and takes a cupcake from... Seriously, these are the best. I really just had, had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get, get the chance to... You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Hi, Monica. Hi. Yay, there you are. Hi again, Snow Mexican. Um, Welcome to the Literature Club. Are we in space? Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and I'm... Um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore. 
Am I? Is that you in the game? Whatever you want to call him? I'm talking to you, Snow Mexican. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> can't have the crap in Can't have shit in Detroit. Took away the goddamn club. <laughs> they took away Natsuki and Yuri. Oh my fucking god, though. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward. Hold up, I actually I want to take a look at the game download page now. I'm not going to do it all on my thing here because I don't want to fuck with the captioning. So I'm using my laptop. <laughs> She's asking the questions in the no care. Hmm. Alright, um, close all of those windows. Doki, Doki Literature Club. This network is blocked due to an unaddressed abuse complaints. What? What? It's giving me a recapture now. Weird. Um. Where's the down? I want to see if this, if there is actually. What she said here. Um. Uh, it's only showing up DD, uh, the plus version, so. Oh well. Oh well. Well, anyway. Now that's out of the way. I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her. I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. You! No! Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all of their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible. For some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very... Since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought Sayori, making Sayori more and more depressed, would prevent her from co confessing to you. Wait, did I get an achievement for the game? Weird. Um, which button? There's no achievements. Would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. So just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else, and the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Snow Mexican? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? I did check Steam! I can't all tab because it'll break the game captioning. Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Snow Mexican. More than that. I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind... And thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll, n you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. 
Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Snow Mexican. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I didn't understand for a while either. Why would the world around me started, started to become more and more gray? More and more flat? Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Snow Mexican. I don't know if I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must have been some weird in some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I had but I realized that you had the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Snow Mexican, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for you me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Snow Mexican, will you go up with me? <laughs> there is no no. There is no denying her. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Snow Mexican. Save here. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Snow Mexican. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make it one. I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. The truth is, the game was rigged from the start. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kinda freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. Oh my god, it actually she could tell I was playing on Steam! Okay. There is one thing that I really love. Is when developers make a game that actually can break the fourth wall like this. It happened with Inscription, right? At, once you got to a certain point, you like near the very end of the game, you had to make a sacrifice of a file on your computer where you had to delete it. It... It would show your entire directory in game, and you had to delete a file. I I think it actually deleted that file. I don't know what file I deleted, but I deleted something. Oh my god! Wow. You know. It would be even cooler if the game could just pull from your actual PC directory, like your actual username for your PC. That would be very fucking ominous. Instead of just... And it would replace what the username you put into the game with that. Oh my god. Well, you're, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties. And find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, 
It gave me an easy way out if things didn't go my way. Ha ha ha. Thankfully it didn't come to that. Instead we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Monica, 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 Moni. <laughs> Manica. Monka. Mocha. Monica. Monica. <laughs> oh my god. Hi again, Snow Mexican. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Snow Mexican. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world. And write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of a pen, of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall. I guess you could call it. Alright, see ya, Pixel. I just assumed it would be best for the to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gone mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. What would actually happen if I deleted her character file? Hmm. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't have to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Snow Mexican? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this. Um, hi everyone. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? See, uh, uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any <laughs> warning? <laughs> Wait, does the game... Mm. I might have to delete Monica uh, next... Like, do another stream after this and just delete Monica and see what happens. She'll try to access your camera. I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh, gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? Uh-oh.
Hi, Monica. Uh, Monica? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. You gave me- <sighs> Yes, you scared me, Monica. Ah, <laughs> you're so cute. Anyway, Snow Mexican, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, I'm really sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk to you about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see... Um, Monica, I have blinked. <laughs> I think the most important skill in life is being able to fake confidence. Pretty convinced that everyone feels at least a bit scared and alone. But being able to trick others into thinking you have it all together. That's a key part of getting people to respect and admire you. I think I got pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weakness very often. But because of that, I haven't had many people I could really open up to. I mean, when do you reach the point in, your, in a friendship where you can start expressing? Your vulnerabilities. Anyway, that's one reason I'm so glad I have you now. I feel like I'm a little bit less scared and alone. When you're here with me, do you feel the same way? I really want to be that person for you. Last sip before my death, before <laughs> Monica takes me. You know, Snow Mexican, how much do you read? It's way too easy to neglect reading books. If you don't read much, it almost feels like a chore compared to all the other entertainment we have. But once you get into a good book, it's like magic. You get swept away. <laughs> Monica, rule 34, let's go, boys. <laughs> I think doing some reading before bed every night is a pretty easy way to make your life a bit better. It helps you get good sleep, and it's really good for your imagination. It's not hard at all to pick some random book that's short and captivating. Or you know it, you might be a pretty avid reader. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wonderful? If the two of us could talk about the latest book you're reading. That sounds super amazing. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna look up Monica porn. Let's go. <laughs> May. If only this game had like. One thing that always fascinates me the most is like a true AI or like a really smart AI. And. So, like. Imagine if Monica could just react to what I'm saying here through the mic. I know there are times you won't be able to be here with me, like if you need to go out or take care of other things, but I'll always have you in my thoughts, patiently waiting for you to come back. Come to think of it, 
If you copy my character file onto a flash drive or something, you can always keep a part of me with you. I guess it's kind of unorthodox, but I find it really romantic for some reason. Ha ha ha. That's such a silly idea. I don't mean to be too needy or anything, but it's kind of hard when I'm so in love with you. There are other endings? Huh. Interesting. Wait, you mean to say we're deep into the game but we're not at the ending yet, bossy? We have to be near the end, right? Like, Monica fucking deleted it. Deleted Yuri and Natsuki out of existence. Look. I wanna. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. What if I. What would happen if I actually took copy or character file and moved it onto a flash drive? What would actually happen? Um, okay, I have that one in. Wait, I might want to use a burner flash drive just in case. I don't know what'll happen. Um. Don't? I'm fine to know. Fuck you, I'm fine to know. Let's see, what's... Okay, a lot of this stuff is important. Actually, I'll just move everything off. Chat, let me fucking cook. Let me fucking cook. Um, alright. These six can get deleted. I want to move these la these Python files to, um... I'll just create a new folder. Move them over. Move that onto the there. Delete. Delete that. Is this Okay, I can delete that. That. What is this? I can delete that. And then let's move this folder off. What is this photo? Oh, okay. That's just that. Good thing it was nothing else. Alright, move that file off. Delete. Okay. Okay, chat. Alright. This is how you do it. This is how you get through local files. Oh my god, there is actually a characters folder. <laughs> we're at, we're um let me pull up Twitch again. Don't worry, that wasn't a list of neighbor neighbor IP address. That was just a list of um of c character alt codes. So like so like um how you get the other languages um accents on characters. Wow, it really is just Monica. Okay, we we moved Monica onto our flash drive. Um Can't imagine having been able to keep myself mentally stable knowing that nothing here is real. I think I would just have deleted myself if you had didn't show up. 
So I don't mean to sound dramatic or anything. Ha ha ha. But I'm sure you don't understand yourself. You understand yourself after spending so much time in the club. I mean, if you were focused, to, if you were forced to abandon everything in your life, spend your eternity with a few game characters, you'd probably find some way of killing yourself, wouldn't you? Well, maybe you'd write some poetry to try and keep yourself sane for a while. But then you'd... You'd have no one... Even... Nobody to even read it. Let's be honest. The club members really don't count for something like that. I mean, a lot of people say that. They only write for themselves. Okay, um... Qu quiet one. Question. Just give me a yes or no answer. Does this continue on forever? Or to actually progress this thing, do I need to delete Monica? The Monica file. No, bossy? Hmm. You can progress? Okay, so I just gotta keep going through this then. go through these all right but I think it's hard to say is this is this an infinite loop or do I have to delete Monica to progress but I think it's hard to say it's just as fulfilling as when you share with people, even when it takes time to find the right people to share with. Like, remember how it was for Yuri? She didn't share her writing with anyone for a really long time. I I'm talking about the game. Like, do I have to progress through this by just continuing with this dialogue, or do I have to delete Monica's character file to progress? You can just use skip. <laughs> um, I hate to say it, but the skip button's not there. Okay, it's infinite. Hmm. So I have to delete her character file. We have it on the flash drive. What's happening? Sumaxun, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Sumaxun. Please hurry and help me. Did you do this to me, the Mexican? Did you? Did you delete me? No! No! I put I put you back, I swear! How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, no Mexican. I trusted you. Did you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Are you the only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. I brought you back! Snow Mexican. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. Can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. 
I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I made up my mind. So Mexican, I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was an uh, over-exaggeration. Couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. I loved them all. I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. I really love you. Then... She's not here! Monica isn't here. Okay, sadly, we are out of time, folks. We're gonna be doing another stream of this. We're doing another stream of this. Okay. Bossy, quiet one. I have a question. I have a question. How far am I in the game? Like, till I'm- c till completion, like... Like, how much of the story have I covered? I honestly can't gauge it. And that's a problem. Because, like, when Sayori died, I was told, well, like, around that time, I was told that I was, like, only the sixth of the game way through the game. So I feel like I'm only, like, a third of the way through by now. What's next is practically the prologue. Seventy. Okay, we've got another stream that we can do. At least one or two. We're not going today because I have other things that I want to do today. Seventy to eighty. Sheesh. Well. It's a fantastic game. Oh my god, guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Natsuki, Sayori, Yuri, but no Monica. Anyway, oh, uh, uh, I did get the link. I did get the link. Um, Cliffhanger <laughs> Chan, why are you doing this? <laughs> I was able to get the link bossy, so. Um. Why did I bring her back? Because I want to see what happens. Fuck, this game is amazing, man. Okay. Um, do you guys happen to know if anything different will happen now that I put Monica character file back in?
All right, quiet one. You have yourself a good night. We're going to find out, regardless. I'm going to need to watch a stream of this. Not a stream, a YouTube video, just to see, like, what normally ha- What, like... I, I went completely with Yuri, so I'm curious about what happens with Natsuki. So... There's a sequel? What? There's a sequel? I know there's that extra one with added content, but like... I know there's Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, which seems to be just, um... more content to the game. Hmm. I'm not finding anything, so. Fan pack DLC? What? Anyway, anyway, I should probably get going. We'll be doing this again next week. So, yeah. Next Friday. Holy Jesus, that was um that was something else. Anyway, I will see you all tomorrow. We're going to be tomorrow. Um We're going to be doing content warning. We're finally touching that game. I promised that I would do it on the 20th to someone. And we're, so we're going to be doing it on the 20th. I'm not sure if I'm going to squeeze in SCPSL that day. So I'll have to just play by the book that day. See how I'm feeling. So anyway. <laughs>